I'm here at the Water Cube in uh, Cape Town with uh, Maggie. Maggie, could you please just hold up your badge? I, I call you Maggie. It act it's actually Margaret. Uh, uh, Margaret, could you please introduce yourself just shortly and what you do? My name is Margaret Catley Carlson. I'm Canadian. And what I do is uh, I sit at the board level and I've chaired a number of boards, I've been the vice chair of a number of boards that have to do with water, various aspects of water, how to change water use patterns in agriculture, how to get financing into water, uh, how to articulate the business community interest in having good water quality and quantity and how to, how to try and uh, help focus that in a, the most constructive direction possible for overall use, because they're doing some very innovative things for the business community, but we've got to also try and expand that into uh, a, a generalized interest for better water management. So I sit on a number of boards. Uh, you, are, you are a lot of times in the panels as well? Yes, I do. Oh, I do a lot of conference work. Yeah. Uh, and basically I try and link people up that I think have good ideas uh, and positive energy and uh, try and get them working with uh, with others. I mean, uh, if we've got a problem with nitrogen poisoning uh, the soil all over the world, then if you find somebody that is reducing the way that nitrogen permeates the soil, you better f you better make sure that a lot of people know about it. So exactly. that's kind of my job, is to yeah. try and uh, help out with that. Yeah. And so you just mentioned we should talk a little bit more about the success stories or the, the things that are going well, if I may put it. Well. Things are not going well in water. Yeah. We know that uh, because uh, we're still drawing down more and more of it. Uh, the human population is still growing. It takes a liter of water to make a calorie of food. Uh, we're eating more calorie. More people are eating more calories, and so basically things are not yet going very well. But there are some very interesting successes. Uh, there are cities that are managing their water an awful lot better. Uh, there's cities in Australia that have cut down to by 80% the amount of new water that comes in. They're circulating their water. Uh, the city of Las Vegas, as to have all places, has done some really innovative and interesting things in terms of saving water. Rotterdam uh, powers a lot of its municipal buses with the energy out of wastewater. We've got to celebrate that more. Uh, we We've got to take some time away from the warning, the analyzing, the doom scenario, the doom and gloom scenario. <laughs> they, and they, they are there, but uh, yeah, they're all there. Yeah. But one of the ways that you fight that is by talking about success as well, and yeah. talking about the doable and the affordable, and mm. talking about how uh, communities, individuals, buildings, so there's a building in New York City that is uh, sort of a water neutral building. Yeah. So at all levels, there are successful examples that we should know more about, that we should spend more time talking about, and uh, celebrate and study success. We cannot inspire people to do things simply by reciting uh, the statistics of yeah. how water degradation and water shortages is making people's lives worse. Yes, that's true, but we need to use all the weapons that we possibly can, including the fact that there's been successes. Margaret, thank you very much for that note. I want to thank you, and uh, yeah, let's 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 take it a positive note on this because uh, there's enough issues in the world as it is. Thank you, Water Cube. Thank you. <laughs>